In January 2018, YouTube changed their criteria for what channels could be monetized, requiring them to hit a threshold of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of content viewed over the previous 365 days. As I am nowhere near that time threshold as of this recording, I've realized that trying to hustle to get subscribers through sub for sub or asking relatives and friends to subscribe and put my channel on autoplay to keep their pets entertained was a losing proposition. However, this and seeing my fellow YouTubers with more subscribers and views and who actually had a chance of meeting those thresholds, hustling to reach them, made a connection in my brain to an anime series that was first introduced to in my high school anime club, and one which I didn't get around to watching in its entirety until a year or two ago. Key the Metal Idol. Key the Metal Idol is probably one of the earliest mindscrew anime that I've seen, predating Neon Genesis Evangelion by about a year. The concept comes a little closer to that of Serial Experiments Lane instead of Evangelion, in the sense that there's no giant robots and the main protagonist is a young girl, but that's about where the similarity ends. Our main character is Tokiko Mima, or Ki for short. She is a 17-year-old girl who is either a robot or believes that she is a robot, having been told so by her scientist father and his lab assistant, Wakagi. She apparently has no emotions and is incredibly reserved, similar to Rei Ayanami. When her father dies in an apparent lab accident, a lab accident of the kind that anyone with any degree of genre-savvy knows is a cover for murder, her father's video will tells her that if she can make 30,000 friends, she will become human. Realizing that the small town where she lives simply doesn't have enough people for that, she sets out to Tokyo to become human. After a false start where she's nearly pressured into doing porn, she is rescued by her friend from her hometown, Sakura, who also came to Tokyo and is working a slew of part-time jobs. Sakura decides that she'll be Ki's agent and will help her complete her goal, but... Like some of Ki's peers back home, Sakura thinks that Ki is pretending, but she decides to humor her. However, there are a few catches. First, in times of extreme emotion or stress, another personality seems to emerge from Ki, one which looks and acts more human, and which also possesses special, almost magical abilities, which catch the attention of those who want to take advantage of them. The second is the issue of Ajo in Heavy Industries, and production Minos, both run by a corporate mastermind and mad scientist named Jinsako Ajo. He is working on a series of robots for the military through Ajo Heavy Industries that are powered by gel, which is extracted human life force. On the other side of things, through production Minos, Ajo has an idol, Miho Huduse, who is secretly a robot controlled by the real singer, and that robot is controlled remotely and powered by Miho's own life force. This is where the mind screw comes in and where the show gets into some social commentary, particularly on Japanese pop music, idols, and idol groups, and how the industry treats the women who perform as idols, either alone or in groups, as disposable commodities. Over the course of the series, Ajo literally uses up the real Miho Utuse, leaving her bedridden and barely conscious, and tries to, to replace her with another girl who could control the Utuse robot. It's taking the idea of science fiction and allegory, and applying it not to conventional social issues like race relations or sexuality or geopolitics, but instead to the pop cultural entertainment we enjoy, how it's made, and how the people who make it are treated. He was very much out of print for the past few years. Viz put the show out of VHS in the 90s and on DVD in 2004, and then it was out of print on physical media until discotheque media finally licensed, rescued it, and released it in February of last year. There is a link to where you can get it in the doobly-doo below. If you're interested in picking up the show, that link is a referral link, which will give me a little bit of cash if you pick it up from Amazon or Right Stuff. So that helps the show, particularly since I don't have a ad, any ad revenue anymore. So, yeah. <laughs>
much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like sub and subscribe and click the little bell button to be notified whenever new episodes show up on my channel. If you really like the show, please consider backing it on Patreon. Backers will get their name in the credits, and at higher levels, you get episodes up to one week early, and at even higher levels, you can select what games that I do for my future Let's Plays. You can find my Patreon at patreon.com slash count zero O-R.